Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video. So welcome to today's video. It is a bit different than what you're probably used to on the channel. It's not League of Legends related and it's something that will only happen very occasionally if I do decide to do another one. And that is a unpackaging, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, of some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, so I played Yu-Gi-Oh God, 10 years ago, I want to say, and about 5 years ago got rid of all my collection. And I had a, a very big, good collection back then. Uh, but recently, when my friends in university got back into actually playing the game, not just collecting, but he started playing it, dueling, and he said, oh, it's actually pretty good. Um, you know, I've been playing Hearthstone over you know, the past year or so. I've played Magic a little bit, but I'm going to return to Yu-Gi-Oh! and give it a go. I do have a few decks already. Uh, I did have my first duel on Tuesday. I ran an Exodia deck. It didn't go well. Uh, didn't pull Exodia. But um, yeah, so today is just going to be simply unpackaging 36 booster packs. Uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is the Battle Pack 2 uh, War of the Giants. Now the reason I got this one, as if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh watcher or person, uh, I guess, uh, this is not the most recent booster pack you can get. The reason I got it is because it has the God cards in it. I did purchase this uh, the other week, I guess, uh, which is Yu-Gi's Yugi legendary cards decks, etc., which contains three of his decks that he used in the anime. This does contain the god cards, but not the legit ones, not the actual ones you can use in a duel. And it kind of got me in the mood to actually try and get the god cards. So that's the plan for today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But how we're going to do this video is pretty simple. I'm going to put this camera I'm using now basically in front of me. And we're going to be facing the cards through the rest of the video. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. We're going to be doing this completely live as I normally do. And if you want more of this type of thing, potentially put a like on this video so I know and leave a comment. Um, saying you want more and I might do it again. Don't worry about the League of Legends stuff It has taken a little bit of a hit at the moment uh, because university and stuff, but I am actually gonna be recording some um, Now after this so yeah, don't worry Okay, welcome to the view that you're gonna have pretty much for the rest of the video now. Don't despair. We are gonna have things coming up uh, Tada the card now I will move the camera around a little bit just to make sure it all fits but this is an example of one of the packs uh, just to show you all the artwork, so you've got Obelisk the Tormentor, Sly for the Sky Dragon, and then finally uh, the Winged Dragon of Ra. Uh, you, the colours you can kind of see quite well, I guess, and it will take a little time for focusing to happen. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. There are five cards per booster pack. I have no idea how many cards a normal booster pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! has. Haven't actually opened one. Uh, I've got four decks at the moment, and all of them are from boxes or structure decks. Um, and I have no idea the order of what a card actually comes in these. I have no idea where the rare is or anything. So we're just going to probably be an absolute noob in doing this. Let's throw the paper over there. Right, so um, we're just going to rush through the ones that aren't very good. So that Axe uh, Dragonoot. All right. Dark Lord Desire. That actually is a pretty cool card. Uh, cannot be special summoned. You tribute summon this card by tributing one fairy monster once per turn. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, Tardy Orc and a Mega Phantom Blast, El oh, Beast Hamstrat. All right, good start. You know, one of them cards is pretty strong. Um, again, I'm brand well, back into Yu-Gi-Oh, brand new back into it. So if I get an amazing card and you're watching this and going, Huzzy, that you, you, know, you said it was a bad card, and no, it's really good. Let me know as well. Ego Boost. Again, I'm making sure this is on camera. Ego Boost, uh, Violent Soldier. Pot of Greed. I'm pretty sure this is a banned card. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Su Sazuke. And Time Machine. Nice. And Obelisk the Tormentor again. Yeah, Obelisk. Um, so this will complete opening all the different artworks. Um, no luck as yet to get a god card. But I did read the reviews as I did buy this off Amazon. And uh, people said, you know, I ordered one of these boxes and I got two of the god cards. Uh, one of the god cards and a couple of people were like, we didn't get one. Half shut, uh, Frosterasrus. That was a butchered name, but it looks pretty cool, I guess. Like a watery Brachiosaurus, I guess. Uh, Guardian Angel Joan. But these are, like, I don't know. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh for 10 years. These attack points, man. A lot of these cards have crazy high. Ancient Gear Knight. One of my, one of my friends actually runs, runs an Ancient Gear deck. So if I have no use of this card, I could just give it to him to help him out. And a spell striker. All right, there you go. There's three packs out of the way, 33 to go. So this might be a pretty long video as a warning. I, I guess normal card opening people would probably do this in multiple videos, but considering I don't really do this on the channel, I thought I'd just do it as one. 
Shrink. Uh, okay. Uh, needle, Sunfish, uh, Cree Bonds. I don't understand why his is like capital. Oh, he's a Turner card. Or I think it's a Turner. This is like for special summoning, right? I I'm pretty sure a Turner is a, like a, a special deck monster that you have to sacrifice these to, to summon them. That's pretty cool to have more of them. Uh, card Guard and Cloning. Okay, we already have a little bit of a pile going here. Uh, we will show how many cards we get at the end. Um, it'll be quite a lot. Well, basic math, 5 times 36. Uh, so what, that's over 150. That is close to 170-ish, isn't it? I think. I can't be bothered to do maths now. Uh, forbidden Dress. Uh, forbidden Dress. Submarine Roid. All right. They were like stretching with that name, I think. Uh, Shard of Greed. Again, bigger font. I don't understand why that has a bigger font than others. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments. Uh, Drillroid and a Shield Warrior. All right. Not a great one, but who knows? That might be an amazing card that I missed because I'm not really reading the effects, I'll be honest, um, while opening these. Just kind of looking for cool stuff and mainly the god cards. If you're wondering, by the way, how much this actually cost, I believe it was 40. Um, for 40, yeah, 40 pound for 36 boosters. When I saw that price, I was like, well, that's actually pretty good. And this one doesn't want to open. Uh, you occasionally get one that just is like, nah, especially when you're filming. Come on, man. Don't be like this. There you go. <laughs> you have to apply more force when necessary. All right. Half counter is the first card. I think it's relatively in focus. Steamroid, I remember that card. I remember like um, when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, this uh, machine de deck or something came out. Oh wow, what's that? It's a Cyber Valley. I remember this card from the anime, I think. It had like, yeah, I think it wasn't Kaiba who played it. It was someone else who played it. But yeah, I remember this card. It can get really powerful from memory. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong one. Uh, Doom Caliber Knight and a Necro Gardener. So I think it's the third card in that is the rare in the pack, but I could be wrong as well. I have no idea if five is the standard. I think I just peeled that completely wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if five is the standard in a um, booster pack in Yu-Gi-Oh or this is just a special one. I have no idea. Uh, no entry. Um, oh, what's that? Ryoku. I recognize that. And it is a shiny, um, bit, like a little bit of a shiny. Yeah, you can see that. Um, the Fiend Mega Cypher, fairly powerful card. If your opponent controls at least two more monsters than you, you can special this card from your hand. Wow, free summon, that's actually really strong. So that is a really good, like, get out of jail if you've got no monsters on the field. A Des Mosquito and a Solar Wind Jammer. Okay, still no luck. I, I have faith in the heart of the cards that there will be a... And a legit god card somewhere in this uh, pack or box rather. Um, Metal Morph. I remember this card from the anime as well. I can't remember why. Another ego boost. We have our first duplicate. Uh, Belial, Marquis of the Darkness. Okay, that sounds like a pretty strong card. Your opponent cannot target any face up monsters you control except this card for an attack or with spell traps. Oh wow, that's really strong. Okay, that's, yeah, wow, cool. I don't know if it's banned. It sounds really strong. Um, Experian or Exarian Universe. Again, wow, for a four, you can just summon this straight up. Why? During your battle step, if this card attacks a defense uh, position monster, you can activate this effect. This card loses exactly 400 attack, and if it does, it will inflict piercing damage to your opponent. Wow, okay. Just going straight for the attack points with a summon you can do straight away. That seems strong. And a mausoleum of the emperor. Wow, cool. Again, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh noob, so maybe that isn't a strong card, but to me it sounds pretty strong. Um, oh, I can see a card that's from the anime. Joey used to use this card all the time. Shield and sword. Swap all that stuff. Yeah, Joey uh, from the original anime used to use that. Reasoning. Um, Reckless is Greed. Toon Gemini Elf. Uh, that's for the Toon deck, which I'm probably never going to run. And Tiki Soul. All right, that wasn't a great pack, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys play at all, or, you know, are you a different card game person? Do you prefer Magic or just Hearthstone, as it's easy, easy access? You don't actually have to have cards. Uh, half or nothing. Uh, damage Gate. 
Ooh, Beast King Barabos. Uh, or Barbaros. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can normal summon this card without tributing, but its original attack becomes 1900. You can tribute three monsters uh, to tribute summon this card if you do destroy all cards in your. Oh, wow, okay. So you can either just summon it without tributing. So, boom, there you go, like straight away. And it will have 1900. That's still a pretty strong card. 1900, 1200 for just straight up summon. Or if you tribute three monsters, not two, I think, then you can destroy all their cards. That's pretty damn strong. Gene, what, where, a Warwolf? Oh, God. 2,000 attack, 100 defense. So, yeah, yeah, you kind of play this in attack mode, uh, obviously. <laughs> and the tricky. I already have a tricky from one of the Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Or, the, yeah, the Yu-Gi decks. And I've already got the spell card that goes with him. Um, pretty good card, though. And let's continue. So I don't know. I how many have we opened? We've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've opened ten so far. There is the little pile that we're now getting over there. Um, so mm, we're about to be, or nearly going to be, a third of the way in. And we've what been going twelve minutes? Yeah, this is going to be a long video. All right, continue. Pride full roar. Uh, Photon Thrasher. Twenty one hundred attack, zero defense. Cannot be normal summoned. Must be special summoned from your hand while you control no monsters. If you control another monster, this card cannot attack. Okay. Uh, that seems a bit weird. Uh, Evil Hero Malicious Edge. Okay, that's a weird name. If your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute summon this card with one tribute. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. That is a good card. That is actually a really nice card. Well, wow, nice. Mirage Dragon. Your opponent cannot activate trap cards during the battle phase. Again, quite nice. And, wow, in the same pack we get two Photon Thrashers. Yeah, in the same pack, I believe. Yeah, wow, that's quite rare. Um, shame I don't think it's a very good card, but oh well. <laughs> it happens. That's part of collecting cards, unfortunately. Like in Hearthstone, if you have duplicates, you just melt them down and buy other cards. Again, I recognise this card. Uh, it's actually quite funny, like a lot of nostalgia comes back with this because I remember it. Alright, so we've got Horn of the Unicorn. We have another one of these, so this is another duplicate of an Exarian Universe. So if I have duplicates, I'll probably just give them to my friends. Uh, a card trader, Hyper Hammerhead. At the end of the, the damage step, if your opponent's monster that uh, battled uh, this monster is not destroyed, return that. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. You just get rid of it. A hero emerges. Oh, is that for the hero deck? Maybe. I actually have been tempted to look into getting a hero deck because uh, for some reason last night I watched that episode one of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and uh, he uses the main character in that. Jaden, I think his name was. He uses a hero deck. It's an alright deck. Alright, next one is Can I with Chain? Again, I remember this card. Um, something to do with reducing the damage, I believe. Uh, Samurai of the Ice Barrier. Samurai deck. That's pretty cool. Destroy this card and you do. Oh, right. Monster Reborn. I believe this is a banned spell nowadays. Or oh, you might be able to use one. I'm not sure. I already have a few of these anyway. Um, Zombri the Dark. Or Zombriar the Dark. Uh, this card cannot attack your opponent directly. If this card destroys a monster by battle, the card loses 200 attack. Okay. Well, it's, it's a full with 2100, so it's quite a lot, but... I don't see it being that useful. Um, once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Ooh, it's like a Karibo, kind of, a little bit. Well, not really, because I think you still take the piercing damage, or, like, the extra damage. Um, right, Rising Energy. Um, Photon Sanctuary. Another Monster Reborn. Ooh, I remember this card. Alexandrite, I think that's how you pronounce it, Dragon. It's a pretty cool card. It's a 2,000 with 100, but it's a 4 summon, so it's actually pretty strong to get this out early. Um, so yeah, that's good. And a Gaga Gaga Gardner. This was Lady Gaga before she became famous. Um, when an opponent monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can discard one card, and this card cannot be destroyed in the battle. Wow, that's actually a pretty damn strong card. It's like a... Um, Kind of like a Karibo, I guess, that you know you special summon it just before you get attacked and kind of saves you that turn. You can kind of keep the battle alive. 
um, by just having him on the field. So that's that's pretty damn good. In a in defense mode, I'd imagine. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Again, another rising energy. We just got one of these, but that's fine. And another Kanaiwa chain. Oh, this looks cool. Uh, Splendid Venus. Uh, it's a fairy. Um, all non fairy type monsters lose five hundred attack and defense. The activation and the spells of trap or spell or trap cards you control cannot be negated. Wow, that is a strong card. Damn. If you're running a fairy deck, this is a really strong card because nerfs everything on the opposing team if they're not going fairy and they also can't use spell and trap cards. Damn. Well, might have to make a fairy deck after this. Uh, winged Rhinus, um, Beast Warrior, and then Scapegoat. Oh, I remember that. I remember that card. I think either Yugi or Joey played that card from memory. Um, so we're probably over a third of the way done now. Sometimes we just kind of go on a chain of opening them. Uh, Rush Recklessly. I think I've already got one of these. I don't know if I've opened it here or anything. Uh, yep, there we go. Sinister Serpent, Pot of Duality. What's that? Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one of them to your hand, then shuffle the rest. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can activate Pot of Duality. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That's a pretty strong card. Copycat. Remember this card. Uh, when this card is uh, summoned, target one face-up monster your opponent controls the that card's attack and defense. Become equal to that uh, monster's original attack. Oh, that's pretty strong. And Blocko, or Blockman. Again, I've got one of these already in one of the Yugi decks. Let's continue. Um, just to mention, because this video will probably come out uh, maybe this, the night I'm recording it, I'm not sure. Um, I have just got into the Overwatch beta, um, and I actually believe it's not just the weekend, I actually believe I'm in the main beta now. Because uh, I got two emails, one of them saying I'm in the, the weekend, and then I got another email saying welcome to the beta with no mention of the weekend. So hopefully, and there, well, there will be some Overwatch content coming soon. Strike Slash, um, Gene Warped, where we already got one of these. Slate Warrior, uh, Flip, always oh, got a flip effect. Uh, this card gains a, a 500 attack and defense. If this card is destroyed in, by Battle of the Monster, that destroyed loses 500. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Play it face down and so your opponent will get a pretty of a surprise. Axe uh, Dragoonut, I think we've already got one of these. And a Violin Tetra. Interesting, okay. Cool. I will say one of my weaknesses of actually two of my decks, uh, the Exodia deck that I've tried to run and my Azure Blue Eyes, they both um, lack early game. I want to say that I can't really get many of my monsters out. I built them with two like, strong cards, so I kind of have no tributes or any of that thing. So uh, getting uh, like monsters like that, and that's a, t a Turner card as well, Tuna, whatever you want to kind of pronounce it as is actually really useful for me. I can actually just throw up a couple of them that are good for the decks in there and actually have an early game now. Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is like the Labyrinth Twins from the anime. A Botanical Lion. That is a weird card. This card gains 300 attack for each plant type monster you control. Interesting. Reckless Greed. An seriously, another Botanical Lion in the same pack. And a Tree Born Frog. I don't mind getting duplicates. I really don't. But getting them in the same pack is a bit like, ugh, really? You know, I know that in the factory, just random cards are kind of put in each pack, but it shouldn't be that random that you get the same one twice in a pack. All right. Uh, Rinoku, I think we already got one of these, and this one is not shiny. Card Guard. Magician of Faith. Flip. Effect. Target one spell card from your graveyard. Add that to, to, oh wow, add that to your hand. So like, I don't know, Monster Reborn or Polarization. Boom, back. Helping Robo for combat. Um, cool. And a damage gate. Okay. I probably should have watched like a, someone doing this who actually does this on their YouTube channel just to see what they do. Um, but we're just kind of winging it at the moment. Uh, Draining Shield. As in Bri the Dark, that's a duplicate. We've got a Proto Tech Mech Shiru. Something like that. Uh, that seems like a pretty strong card. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, you can tribute summon this card with one tribute. If summoned this way during each end phase, you take a thousand damage. Right. If this card attacks a defense uh, position monster, inflict piercing damage. But oh wow, okay. So it's a very high risk, high reward kind of card. I think that you have to end the match really quickly. 
Uh, Submarine Roid, we've got another one of them, and Reasoning, I think we already got one of them as well. You can see the pile is continuing to build up. And I, I don't know, we're probably just over a third of the way to go, I'd, I'd like to say. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> we'll get one god card. Maybe. Chaos of Anubis. Uh, Toon Gemini Elf. We already got one of these. Another one of these Fro Frostosauruses. A Ape Fighter. And a Power Giant. Oh, that's Optimus Prime, everybody. You know, yeah. He's rock, apparently. I don't know how that's rock. Surely that's... Uh, I guess he's all crystal. Maybe not machine. I don't know. That seems a bit weird. All right. Let's go. We're going to open a Slifer. And we're going to get a Slifer of the Sky Dragon. I believe in the heart of the cards. Believe with me. Even though you're watching this when it isn't live, believe with me. Oh, I don't know, by the way, how crinkly and all that is the opening on the mic, by the way. So if it is loud, I... <gasps> oh my god, I'm psychic. I'm actually freaking out a bit. That is ridiculous. I opened a Slifer when I said I'm going to open a Slifer, opening a Slifer deck pack even oh my god all right we got one we got one of the, the god cards again i've got i've got the three but there he is if you if you're not if you're brand new to Yugi and you're just watching this because it's one of my videos this is an egyptian god card they are known as one of the strongest um cards in the game they're not actually very good in duels but they're just really cool to own and we've got one now like a legit one like the ones that i have have the red back like the red blue and yellow backs and they're not legit Wow, okay, we're gonna put him over to the left. Uh Superconductor Tyranno. I'll show you I'll show you the difference at the end as well. Uh I, oh, I Iron and a Battle Fader. Wow, I'm actually damn, that is the, I owned back in the day. I uh when I at the beginning of this video I said I did have a very impressive collection. I did actually have this card. Like the legit Slifer. I had the legit obelisk and the legit ring ring dragon Ra and the legit Exodia. And I actually never pulled, apart from the Exodia, I did actually pull that in all individual packs. I didn't pull any of the Egyptian God cards from uh, Boosters. I got it. one of them from a friend uh, by trading a lot of cards for it. And two of them I bought on eBay, I think. So, wow, that is a really good feeling. Swords of Concealing Light. Uh, I do actually play uh, with Swords of the Revealing Light. I think you're only allowed one in your deck. Um, I presume it does the opposite. I'm not sure. I've got hiccups now because... Oh. Damn, that's pretty cool. Uh, another tricky. Ultimate Tyranno. Oh, that's a really cool card. It's a dinosaur. I actually was very tempted uh, to make a dinosaur deck because they're really cool. Uh, another Violent Prism and a Exodus. Oh, is this ex another Exodia card? Exodus of the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Cannot be normal summon. Must be special number from your hand by shuffling monsters in your graveyard into the deck and cannot be... S oh, my God. If they are, f if there are five different Forbidden One cards in your graveyard that were sent there by this card, you win the. D oh my god! For my Exodia deck, this is perfect. It's another Exodia card, right? We're putting Hing over on the left, so we've got now two Exodia cards, I guess, because my Exodias are actually legit Exodias. Wow! I've got two automatic win functions with my Exodia deck now. Oh. That's really cool. Okay, wait, which was well, this was an obelisk, right? Obelisk, we're gonna open an obelisk. <laughs> Imagine if it happens. Overworked. Evocator Chevalier. A DD Asylant. A Bazoo the, the Soul Eater. By the way, I'm tilting them this way just so you can definitely see the attack points. And a Stronghold of Moving Fortress. Damn, we didn't get obelisk. Well, I'm pretty still happy that we got a Slifer when I said it. Right. And that, I'll be honest, uh, for the artwork, Slifer is actually my favourite, so I'm actually really happy right now. Wing Dragon of Ra, let's actually hope for a Wing Dragon. Damn, I'm... So <laughs> I'm still, like, shocked that, that happened. Oh, my God. Can I would chain? Uh, Forbidden Chalice, another DDS Island, a tour bus from the Underworld, and a Dimension Gate. I'm pretty sure that is one of the strongest trap cards in the game. I remember my friend telling me, but I'm not sure if you're allowed to use it anymore. Or maybe you're allowed to use one. I'm not sure. You guys can tell me in the comments if you do play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we've got an obelisk pack, so we're going to open an obelisk. I'm going to say this every single time, though. It's not going to be as cool as the, the first one, because literally the first time I said that was when we got the Slifer. Um, there we go. 
Damn, I still... <laughs> ah. uh, Blustering Winds. Uh, Bull Blader. Uh, another Slate Warrior. So another Go Go Golem and a Sinister Serpent. We're getting a lot of duplicates now, but let's be honest, this whole... This pa Battle Pack 2, War of the Giants, I think only in total has about 150 new cards, and we're opening a lot of it. So I'm not really surprised we're getting a lot of duplicates already. Um, Forbidden Chalice. Shard of Greed. Oh, that's a cool card. Uh, Mermail Abyssmagallo. I butchered that name. Uh, you can discard two other water monsters to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. When you do that, you can add one Abyss Spell Trap. For oh, okay. So it has to kind of be like a, a deck that goes with it. Steamroid and a Amor Elise. All right. We got a Slifer deck, but we're, we're not going to get a Slifer. We're going to get a Wing Dragon Ra in this Slifer pack. I believe in the heart of the card. All right, skill successo. A another violent. We've got like four of these. Violent prism. A brain crusher. I actually thought that was another god card for a second. Um, a dodo bot and a photon sanctuary. We've already got one of those. All right, obelisk. We're actually going to get an obelisk in this one. I think. Okay, you know, I, I believe. I I feel there's an obelisk in this one. I'm just saying. In Penetrable Attack, Pot of Duality, Graceful Charity, Mythical Beast, Chinurbus, and an Anonymous Action, or Aut Autonomous Action Unit. Damn, no Obelisk. Can't have them all. Another Slifer Pack. I don't want another Slifer. If I get a Slifer, like a lot of some people say, what happens if I get, like, say, two Slifers? I'll just give it to one of my friends. I'm not really that bothered. Earthquake. Uh, Big Shield. Oh, I remember that card. Someone used it. Uh, the Golden Apples. Cryon, the Mage, and a Dandelion. What a card. Uh, that actually, that is like the pre-form of the other line that we got. Uh, how many packs are left? Right, there are about four packs. Yeah, there are four packs left. Right. One more God card, guys. We Can we do it? Can we get one more God card? Maybe. Ugh, I did not want to open. Maybe it didn't want to open because it has a God card in it. Right, Book of a Moon. Book of Moon. Uh, Zomma of the, the Spirit. Cyber Jar, Blizzard Dragon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Another dragon. I do love my dragons. Uh, dragons are my favorite type of cards, so I can put that in my dragon. Oh, and another dragon. Oh, two, like, Dragon the Icy monsters. Um, what I'll most likely do, by the way, because I have no idea how to build a deck properly, I'll probably bring all my cards to university next week and let my friends build a deck for me um, because they know a lot more about the game than I do at this stage. All right. Oh, wait, what was that? That was a Ring Dragon of Wrath pack. Give me a wing dragon around, baby. No entry. Hedge guard. Evil hero. Malicious edge. We've already got one of these. Uh, Matza the zapper and an embodiment of Aporis. <sighs> Come on, one more. We just need one more god card. I, I don't mind getting only two out of three. Well, one out of three is still pretty good, but you know, two out of three is not you know a lot better. Um, a mask of weakness. Another dandelion. Grace for charity. Machine lord Ur. And a Plague Spreader Zombie. Okay, guys. We have exactly three left. And it's actually worked out really well. We have three packs left. And we actually have one of each god. So Slifer, Winged Dragon Ra, and Obelisk the Tormentor. Let's go with Obelisk. Actually, let's go with Slifer first. Because we've already got a Slifer. So let's get out of the way. Maybe he'll grace us upon another god card. Because we already have him. Alright. Gravity Axe uh, Grail. Growl, sure. Uh, Draining Shield. Uh, Dark Val Valkyrie. Or Valkyria, whatever. Pitch Black Warwolf. And an Oracle of the Sun. Okay, they didn't. They, Slifer did not give us another of the God cards. Oh, okay. I don't want to open them because you, you never know. Uh, Wing Dragon and Wrath. Come on. Let's go. Another God card. Power Frame. Nope, that's not a God card. Half of nothing, Trucoid or Truckroid, Goblin Elite Attack Force, and still a little pretty cool card. Um, in how the hell do you pronounce that? Wow, Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon. Say that five times when you're drunk. And finally, the last pack in this box is an obelisk. Let's see. Last pack, and by the, the rule that Boogie2988 has, the, the last pack is usually the worst pack. 
Let's see if that is true. Union Attack. Power Frame. Chaos Hunter. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know if it's any good. Anarchist Monk, Rashin, and Miracle's Wake. There we go, guys. That is all 36. As you can see, the box is now empty. And that is it. So what I'm going to do just really quickly is just, if I can, I can't be bothered to edit this video, so I apologize for the laziness. Um, but as you can maybe hear in the background, I am opening something. And that something is the other deck that I have. Right, so this is just one of the decks that I have. I'm not going to go through all of it. I just want to show you the differences between the god cards. So... Uh, and I'll show you the Exodia, I guess. Um, so this is the Winged Dragon Ra card that I have. Here is the Obelisk Tormentor card, and there is a Slife of the Sky Dragon. So let's show the difference between the two. Um, so here is the, the real one is here, but I'm moving. Here's the fake one. Uh, technically, they're both real, but this is one I can use in a duel. So you can see the, the slight difference. One of them is shiny, one isn't. That doesn't really matter. But as you can see, look at the text above the attack points. There is a big difference. This one on the right is just a display card that has just what the card is. The one on the left actually has the, the card's effect. And if you look at the bottom left of the card, this one on the right says this card cannot be used in a duel. And this one doesn't have that. Also, you can notice a difference between a display one and a not display one is the back of the card. So let's just rest that there for a second. So uh, maybe you won't be able to pick this up. Ignore that sound. This one on the the right has a red tint to it, and it doesn't have any Yu-Gi-Oh thing on the back. Um, a bit better way of showing it probably will be the obelisk one because it's really obvious. Um, as you can see, the obelisk one is blue on the back, and the slife uh, and the wing dragon raw is like a, a yellowy orange, but it's not that different. But again, there's no Konami in the top right, and there's no Yu-Gi-Oh in the bottom uh, right, the top left. I mean, and bottom right. Uh, but there you go. There's that. Um, and then as for this card, the Exodia card, if I can really quickly, uh, depending how quick I am, um, I can't remember what deck I have it in. It's not that one. Oh, it might be this one, actually. Uh, no, it's not that one. It must be this one. Or oh, it's the one that I have already out. Okay, it's this one. So, a quickly... I've actually played with this deck, so they're all kind of muddled up. Okay, and then one more piece. It's always the last piece that you're missing, isn't it? Um... Wait, did I get all of them? Oh no, I think I missed one. Where is it? Have I missed one of the pieces of Exodia? <laughs> oh, there you go. Cool. Alright, so now that I have this card, um, so the Exodius of the Ultimate Forbidden Lord, I believe what this card does, again, I'll have to read it properly. I don't want to read it properly now. It means that if all five of your pieces are in the graveyard and you summon this card, I believe, then you win the game. If you play a Wood Leader of the Revealed, if there are five different Forbidden One cards in your graveyard that were sent there by this card's effect, you win the duel. Oh, okay. So what I think this does is you summon this card and say you already have... Um, you summon it and then you want to make this card stronger, you can basically sacrifice the piece of pieces of Exodia to this card. And then if you do that five times, then you win the duel anyway. Uh, but these are the pieces of the Exodia. So the uh, left leg, the actual Exodia card, the right arm, the right leg, and the left arm. So that's going to be it for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know again by liking the video. I'm showing a comment as it will help me decide if I want to do more of this type of thing maybe once a month we'll see um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make it all the way to the end put something along the lines of uh what was your favorite card game when you're growing up is it Yu-Gi-Oh is it Pokemon is it Hearthstone something like that uh, so thanks very much for watching everybody let's pick up the camera really awkwardly um so yeah thank you very much for watching like the video if you like it subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time see ya